Supreme Court ruled in favor of a business that did not want to provide the so-called morning-after contraceptive pill to its employees. We thought we'd see how this is all playing out in the Bay Area. The ruling for Oklahoma-based Hobby Lobby doesn't seem to apply to big publicly owned employers, but it will affect hundreds of workers around the Bay Area. The Bay Area has just three of Hobby Lobby's 500 stores nationwide. The fundamentalist Christian owners object to an Affordable Care Act provision that requires companies of a certain size to offer all types of contraception free to their female workers. We believe that Americans don't lose their religious freedom when they open a family business. The Supreme Court ruling Monday was specific in exempting closely held private businesses from having to provide so-called morning after pills and intrauterine devices which some claim can prevent the fertilized egg from implanting. Other contraceptives must still be provided. That's a good ruling according to the Christian owner of Beckwith Electric in Largo, which won its own legal battle in U.S. District Court. I think that prevention is fine. But when the sperm and the egg meet and it starts to produce a human being and all that complex DNA unravels, that's when I draw the line. In southwest Florida, Ave Maria University, founded by Catholic pizza magnate Tom Monahan, is fighting the same legal battle. So I contacted St. Leo University in Pasco to see if they were also against the Affordable Care Act's contraception requirement for their 2,400 faculty and staff. A spokesman would not comment on the school's position except to say they were not party to any legal action. Well, there is a lot of anger at this decision. Groups like Planned Parenthood fear giant employers like Walmart could seek the same restrictions. Others fear companies will be allowed to discriminate against employees or customers based on their religious beliefs.